Our annual and perennial flowers are both filling in nicely in this bed. In fact, today we're mulching around them, getting ready to help them stand the heat of summer. The mulch will hold in moisture and keep the temperatures cool. Right here is a Shasta daisy that's just coming on. And in order to keep it blooming for an extended period, we'll want to keep those blossoms cut or pull off the ones that have gone by and don't allow them to go to seed because all the strength of the plant will go into seed making and take away from the blossoms. Out here in front, we have a dwarf form of Shasta daisy. It has really nice, a nice cover of blossoms. Looks like they're all coming on just about at the same time. Up ahead of me are our petunias, a nice mix of pinks and reds. And then over here around the corner is our rose bed. And our mulch will cover this area as well to keep mud from splashing on them. Because with roses, there's a frequent problem with a fungus called black spot. Let me show you an example of that. Right here is a variety that was sent to us for trial. And evidently, it is very susceptible to black spot. Most of the leaves have already had lesions on them and fallen away. We're getting a little bit of new growth on there, but we're going to have to start a very rigorous fungicide spray program on there to protect that foliage. In contrast, behind me is another variety that evidently is quite resistant to black spot. Now, black spot fungus is common across the state of Oklahoma. It's worse as you move eastward in a more humid climates. Some ways that you can prevent black spot on roses is first of all to mulch around them to prevent from mud from splashing on there. You can even dust that mulch with some dusting sulfur. The fungicidal activity there will prevent some of those black spot spores from um, germinating and getting onto the foliage. You can pick off any affected foliage. Take that away, get it out of the garden. Sterilization is a good way. Make sure you keep your roses healthy. In the wintertime, cut away any badly affected canes. Make sure that there's good air movement around them. And select varieties that are resistant. Now OSU has an extension fact sheet on diseases of roses and it goes into great detail on black spot control. It has color photos of various rose diseases and then it has a very complete list of black spot and powdery mildew free rose varieties. So if you don't want to have to do a season-long fungicide spray program, this is an option for you. As you can see right here in our example, the variety selection really does make a difference in disease resistance. We hope you've enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge, both classic and contemporary.